Well, on the 25th of May in 2017, I was involved in a cycling accident. I was merrily cycling along a road in Southampton on a beautiful Thursday morning when a white car came speeding out of a junction, not seeing me, and I ended up going up over the bonnet and then landing flat on my back on the other side of the road, which resulted in a triple fracture in the top of my spine. I was given the option of having surgery on the back to repair the injuries or to let a natural healing process take place which would mean lying flat on my back and still for up to 12 weeks. Now I chose the latter option and I spent what ended up being 11 weeks just about here in one of these rooms at Southampton General Hospital and it was on this day in 2017 that I eventually left hospital after my rest and rehabilitation. Now after 11 weeks of lying down not doing anything, your legs forget how to work and so you have to learn how to walk again. Now before you can leave hospital and be discharged, you have to prove that you can walk a certain distance unaided. Now I need to tell you that I have this habit of fainting when it comes to all sorts of medical things, whether that's needles, blood tests or, or different things. And so I wasn't looking forward to the first day that I had to stand up. You see, nurses had told me that it's not only your legs that are you're affected, your balance and, and everything in your head starts to rearrange when you've been led still for so long. And so it will be natural when I first try to stand up to feel quite dizzy and there is a chance that I might faint. But before the day arrived when I had been told that I would try standing up, I had read in the Bible that those who trust in the Lord will find new strength. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not faint. And so I was praying and asking God to make this true for me. And sure enough, he did. Admittedly, I felt a little bit queasy when I first tried, but then I sat down and rested for a while, and then I got up and tried again. And by the end of that day, I was walking the length of my bed. The next day, I was walking the length of the ward that I was on. And then before long, I was walking unaided to the bathroom, and then I completed the stair challenge, which was the final obstacle before they would release me. And it was on this day, the 9th of August, that I left the hospital. Because, you see, the promises of God that we read in the Bible aren't just nice words. They're real and they are available for you today.